Hello, Lilas. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you're not subscribed, please make sure that you subscribe by smashing that red subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And make sure you join the chat box. The link is in the description bar if you don't see a join now button next to the subscribe button. Which, you have to be at least 18 years old or older to join. It is $1.99. Please make sure you're also following me on Instagram. If you want to see more pictures of my babies um, and there's merch and 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 okay let's get into the video <laughs> so guys you guys know this is baby Bryson I named him baby Bryson and I'm gonna get him changed and get him dressed and um, I thought maybe this would be a good video to share him um, the thing about <clears throat> about him is I hate what I can't see what you guys see, but so like I said, I was working on him like in between other babies, and I was working on him like around the clock, like all weekend. Every two hours, I was up doing something to him. So when I got ready to finish him. I guess I was so exhausted, I didn't really look him over thoroughly. And so he still has a few more shine spots. I thought I got them, but I seen on one of his arms, is it this one? Oh, now I can't see it. But on one of his arms, it's like he got a streak of shine spot. And then I saw on here, he has a little blemish um, that I didn't catch where maybe a layer or something I didn't paint that spot or something I don't know it's not all the way to the to the flesh color but clearly it's a little um, blooper there um, so needless to say probably when I'm done with all my orders and everything and I've settled and probably after even after I root him I will go back and I will touch him up where I feel needed. Um, I said I wasn't going to bother him anymore, but I know me. I'll probably go and do at least that one little area right there. Um, it's just something that I I do. So he is actually wearing his brother's outfit, which is Noah's, that was sent home by Claire. And... Um, with Noah and I I just said let me see if he'll fit that because I thought he would look so great in blue in this soft blue which I do love him in the soft blue as I thought I would but of course you know it's really big on him because this is I think three month size and he is definitely newborn I, th I believe he's like 19 inches or so Gosh, I still haven't put him on the scale. I keep forgetting. You know what? Now would be the perfect time, actually, since he's going to be get all his clothes off. So, I think I will do that. Yep, I think I will do that. Right here with you guys. But my... my my skill is so stupid sometimes. Let me see. Uh, I don't exactly know how to work it sometimes. So, therefore, sometimes it takes me a, a bit to get it together. But we will get him completely undressed. He doesn't have any. He has a non-gender belly plate so that is not going to be an issue for us i gotta pick you up guy hang on hang on hang on so anyway let me move him without this tummy plate show you guys so this is a little bum bum <laughs> all right let's see how we're gonna do this i'm gonna sit this here so i can pick him up but yeah, this is his, the back of him, his little bum bum. I don't know if you guys can see. 
There's a cute little bump on. There? Okay. Alright. You guys might not be able to see him completely on it. Alright. I'm gonna take this hat off too. Alright. We're gonna lay him there. And six pounds, 11 ounces. Let's lay his tummy plate on and see what that gives us. So six pounds, 14 ounces. That's how much he weighs. Six pounds, 14 ounces. All right, you guys got his weight. <laughs> My baby is exposed, okay. Come on, booger. All right, so he is six pounds, 14 ounces. You guys got that? I'll have to go back and see who came close. So he's almost seven pounds. Somebody said seven pounds on the dot. He is almost seven pounds. But I knew, I knew he had to be at least six pounds. I just knew it. Look at him. All right, boy, you gotta get your. The thing about these, this tummy plate. Normally, you know how when we have the vinyl tum tummy plates and stuff, but even some of the, well, Lily Grace, hers is like this, and I, I don't, um, I don't take hers off. When they like this, you can leave them on because they're not getting in the way. They don't affect how cuddly they are. So I really love these. Um, when the sculptures do the the half plate. I mean it's nice when it go all the way up the chest and all that and everything for pictures but for me honestly I just I I truly prefer the halfway mark if it's gonna be one at all I don't have to have one but they do make great photos for um, Great for photos. He even got a little shine spot on his belly plate. Child, I was rushing. I was tired. I was exhausted. I mean, for like three days straight, I hadn't had really much of any good sleep. Uninterrupted sleep. So, you guys see Noah wear one of these. I'm going to put him on a similar one. But, yeah. And that's another thing with me. And... I am always trying to go for um, I want it to be like perfect and perfection and silicone is far from perfect a lot of times um, just in my opinion I mean well I ain't gonna say far from perfect but you know what I mean let me see I may get a little closer for you guys so you guys can see him bald <laughs> That's 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 him, his little bald head, his little limbs, his little arms. And like I said, he does have veining, it's very subtle, which it should be. And so in person you would see it. Not gonna exactly show how show everywhere where his veins is, because that's a bit much and Hey, I can have a little something to myself, but he has veins and it's very realistically done, in my opinion. But I'm biased because he's mine. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I think he, I just, I really just love his little, his little skin tone, his little pose. And so I'm really thinking about painting I'm thinking about trying to get a hold of an Ashby now at this point. Um, but I don't know. Because I may just keep saving up for me a preemie full body. But I don't know. I'm considering an Ashby. If not, because I don't want to have the same exact scope. So I was thinking maybe if I do an Ashby... I can do her different skin tone, which will be really cool. 
and it will give me more practice on the partials. But I really, I've, I really actually enjoy painting him, which was so crazy. But I realized that a lot of it had to do with the silicone that I was working on. At first, I just wasn't used to it. But, um, but the face on it came out really nice, which um, I'm going to make her into a cuddle body. And then I'm going to, I'm going to sell her. So I got a body coming and I'm going to sell her as a cuddle body instead. Um, as a ball baby. As a cuddle body. Because she takes a full pacifier and her face came out really beautiful. And she has, you know, beautiful vein in and everything. So I, I don't see why she shouldn't be really being enjoyed so that's what i am going to do with her and i am going to keep him for my personal collection and i'm hoping that i don't turn out to do them like i did with the gabigals and paint like a ton of them i know the cost is a lot more but they're definitely more affordable than the full bodies for sure so I'm really, really, really going to try to go for a, on a weight probably. I know I probably will. I'm trying to talk myself out of it secretly, but it don't seem to be working. Oh, he's so cute as a ball baby. Oh, I can't even see what you guys see. Can you guys see him? Oh my God, he is so cute as a ball baby. Like, I am so loving him as a ball baby. Wait. I have a pacifier here. Wait, wait, wait. He might look good with this pacifier. And the thing about it, because his mouth is so open, like I don't even really have to put much on it. But this pacifier, for whatever reason, it seems to like be like where you have to kind of rub. It rubs. So I probably should put something on there. I usually always have to put something on. But I think he'd be so cute with this one. So this one is, it looks um, it looks like the latex, but it's not. Sorry guys, I know it looks horrible, but it's because I don't. I need to put the KY on it. Where is my KY? But it looks like latex, but it's not. And so, um, I really come here, baby. Mama just making a mess. Um, so I like, I like, I like that because. I know people after their dolls are painted, they say after they're painted, it's fine. It's only when you're painting that they don't care when you use the latex and all this and stuff. Well, I've seen what latex pacifiers do to silicone because I've accidentally put them in with my regular ones and they turned them yellow. So there's no way I'm going to use them on my, my babies and then accidentally forget and leave it sitting in the mouth and then you got this stained silicone or whatever the case may be or you never know when you need to touch have you know touch up the mouth or the lips or something and now you've been doing all this sil this uh latex and the crap don't cure so you can't even straighten it out i'm just not doing it but you know everybody have their they can do whatever they want <laughs> they oh he's so cute <laughs> All right, so I got him a little hat that I want to put him on because I thought this would be so cute with this. <laughs> wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it. Now, I wasn't going to do this. I just let it hang like this because I thought this was going to be cute on him like this. I took pictures of him before he was put together with this hat on. It was like one of the first hats I wanted to try him on. All right. So, like I said, he's cute with that, but I don't I don't really do him with the pacifier a whole lot. And because his his hands are his arms are kind of they're very soft and everything, you can kind of move them back and forth and they pose really nice like because you can bend them lots of ways. Wait. So 
you gotta kind of turn it and then you adjust it boy don't don't give me no business because people watching <laughs> there we go wait wait it's just a lot of little things that you know when you working on your own baby that you just either you don't do or you do and it don't bother you because it's your baby or you know I can really breeze through my own babies like him and Phoebe I painted fairly quickly I think Phoebe I tried to slow go slow with her I did try to paint him fast I ain't gonna lie because I, I didn't have the time but I think um with Phoebe I don't even want to talk about how how long I, I paint them. And a lot of people like to equivalent, um, like to judge how fast you paint them. Oh, if you paint them too fast, that means you didn't do something right. Well, there are people that's been painting. Once you're comfortable and you know what you're doing and you trust the process, people paint because they know, you know, where they're going and what they're doing and stuff like that. Or they know what colors they want to use or whatever. So I think a lot of times we... We take longer because, like for me, I take way much longer. I take double the time on somebody else's baby because I have to second guess everything that I'm doing because if it don't come out right, I'm in trouble because it's not my baby. Um, but if it's my baby and it don't come out right, either I can try to correct it or it's just, you know, I'm just stuck. And But it's my baby, it's my money, and I don't have to answer to anyone. So it makes it a lot easier when I paint freely like that because... You know, I can, like I said, I can do what I want because it's my baby. Um, you know, Phoebe, I painted, I, I painted Phoebe in, I don't know, I want to say in two weeks. I don't know, but, and I shouldn't say that out loud, but I think I did. And I think I painted him in a week, but again... It takes me, if I'm painting somebody else's baby, it may take me three, four weeks, five weeks. I don't know. It just depends on what I'm doing and how many other babies I'm working on at the time because um, I, can't, I can't rush the process on someone else's baby. I knew exactly what I wanted to do with him, and I went for it. And I said, if it don't come out right, you know, and then especially at the price that they are, I was like, I'll be okay. I'll live. <laughs> his little hands look. I love his hands. But he doesn't want to do what I want him to do with his hands right now. He's being a little booger bear. But anyway, I'm going to go. I know this has been a totally long video. I thank you guys for watching. I thank you guys for enjoying my work and all the nice comments that you guys um have left me with him i was seriously this time no lie i wasn't like what do they call it um when people be scouting for a compliment i wasn't doing that with him i literally was nervous that you guys would be like ah you know i did get a few comments like no nobody said nothing negative but they were like you gotta paint one and you know, do another one in a, a darker skin tone. And I was like, yeah, probably when I do do the next one, I will give it some more color. But I really love this one. I love, I love a wide range of babies, you know, um, in skin tone. So I really haven't painted this skin tone. I don't know. Finn was, Finn was actually darker. Yeah, Finn was a bit darker quite a bit darker but yeah anyway but I love I, I, I like this um he wasn't dark dark though Finn changed a lot when I met him I don't know why he went really lighter than he was when I was painting him but this baby was light when I was painting him and I knew he was gonna be a little Casper <laughs> so but he's he's just to me just the perfect color and in person I think you can see a little bit more of his colors and his undertones and stuff. So um, when you see the blank kit and see what color the kit was, you can tell that there is some color on him. <laughs> but anyway, um, 
I thank you guys again. And I know this has been a long video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.